You don't get to be happy about anything. Not about Marty, not about the baby, nothing. Hell no! You're right. It's over. Sean, oh my God. You okay? I'm fine, thank you. Right. Okay. That's okay. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. <laughs> You okay, Manny? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. How are you? We're fine. We're fine. Blair. Taya, where are they? <sighs> this is serious. Something I haven't said to another living soul. But if we're going to die here, I need to say it to you. Are you, are you giving me your deathbed confession? <laughs> Do I have a choice? Gas <coughs> <coughs> is stopping. I can barely breathe. If you're going to say it to me, you better make it quick. How to Claire and Taya? We don't know where. How's the baby? She's fine. She's fine. She's a little upset from the gunshot, I think, but she's gonna be just fine. You're good. You're so good. What a good little girl. That's my girl. Who's baby? Uh, Jess is uh, this is Chloe Brennan. Pal kidnapped her, but he, he said she, he said she's not Jessica's baby. But it's okay, sweetie. Bye. It's okay. Kyle Lewis was blackmailing us. Blackmailing you? What about? Chloe. Kyle has proof that she's not Jessica's daughter. Oh, Natalie, come of on. Of course, Chloe is Jesse's daughter. Guys. Seriously, do you think that I would be telling you this if it weren't true? We didn't want Jessica to know the truth. We didn't think she could handle it. What truth? Jessica, you okay? I mean, I mean, of course you're not, but is something else going on? Don't worry. Bess knows exactly what to do. And the timing couldn't be more perfect. I'm fine. I'm fine. Jared and Natalie say that Kyle Lewis knows something about Chloe disappearing. Bo has him in custody. I just, I, I need to get to the station, okay? I, I just, I know that he knows something about my baby. He has to. Pal said that, um, that Chloe is, is, is Star and Cole's daughter. He said there's proof. It's Scooby, my grandchild, John. When it's hot. What are you two trying to say? Jessica's baby died at birth. Chloe isn't Jessica's. I need to know where Chloe is. I need to find my baby. For every negative, there's a positive. It's a problem I have to solve. Jessica. I'm pulling over and you're gonna tell me what's going on. Honey, Jessica's baby did not die at birth. Of course, not. we were there at Nash's cottage. We found Jesse shortly after she had given birth to Chloe. Look, we're trying to explain th that baby. What, is not Chloe? It doesn't make any sense. What baby is it then that's missing? Look, I don't know what you two believe, but as Clint said, we were there at the cottage right after she gave birth. We saw them. Granted, it's a miracle the child survived at all, given the fact that Jessie was all alone when she gave birth, but... Look, Chloe was beautiful. I mean, she was healthy and strong. I held her in my arms, so did Vicky. And later on, the hospital gave her a clean bill of health. Yeah, come on, you guys have got to be a little more clear about what you're saying. We're trying, Dad. This is hard. All right, you know what? Let's back up. Why would you believe this? All right, look. Okay, 
The baby that you and dad saw and held at the cottage, that wasn't Jessica's. The baby that's been living in this house all this time is not Jessica's, and the baby that is missing tonight is not Jessica's. How is that possible? Tess was the one who gave birth, not Jessica. What? Tess also gave birth to Bree. That doesn't change anything. Jessie's still her mother. Right, but she remembers giving birth to Bree. She doesn't remember anything about what happened the night Chloe was born. But darling, she only has some gaps in her memory. Yeah, that doesn't... Yeah, that... She's still Chloe's mom. She doesn't know or doesn't remember what Jared and I found out. Her baby died. She was most likely stillborn. <laughs> How can that be? That's when Bess came out. That's why she came out. I mean, you guys were racking your brains trying to figure out what was so terrible that could have happened to make an altar like that come out into the open. Well, this is it. Her last connection to Nash, her child, gone. And you know better than anyone, Mom, that, that Bess is a protector and a fixer, and she wanted, she made sure that Jessica didn't have to deal with the pain of losing her child after losing Nash. Go on. If all this is true, how did Bess make everything all right? She went to the hospital and she took Jessica's newborn and traded it for a baby that was alive. No, no, don't pull over. Please, Brody, just keep on driving, okay? I have to get to this station, okay? Please! Okay, okay. Just calm down. All right, sit tight, I'll get you there. It's simple math. For every negative, there's a positive. But I know better. Cole used to take a long time to calm down after a loud noise, but you are doing so well. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Marty. Something happened tonight, John. I remember everything. Hey, John, give me your phone. You need to call my kids. They were upstairs when all this began. Kids are fine. Star and Cole with them at your place. There's cops outside keeping an eye on everything. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, well, we need to go find Blair and Taya. here. All right, let me help. We got pretty good at that at St. Anne's, getting into each other's head, right? Yeah. So tell me. I saw something, Brody. All right, what was it? I didn't really see it. It was more like a hallucination. How do you know this baby isn't Jessica's? Well, I... first we found a hospital parking garage ticket in Jessica's car from the night Chloe was born. Yeah, I mean, we had to wonder why would Jessica go to the hospital and then not stay to have the baby. So we got a hold of the hospital's security tapes. What do you mean, got hold of them? Well, we knew something was up, so I got Rex to help us and, and looked on the tapes and... You saw Bess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she had the glasses, hair in the ponytail, pulled back. It, it was her mom. We saw Bess enter the building with them. A bundle wrapped tightly. I saw one of my altars. It was Bess. The control freak, the one who protects you, I met her. It was in my head. She was at the cottage when Tess was giving birth to Chloe, and then, and then she was holding Chloe, and then, and then she was driving, and the baby was on the seat, and she said she knew the truth. And what truth? About a half an hour later, I saw Bess leaving the hospital carrying a baby clearly visible and very much alive. 
This doesn't make sense. Bess didn't take my baby. So I guess Bess went back to the cottage, let Jess out just in time for you guys to arrive and, and find her there, and Chloe. My baby was with me at the cottage. My mom and dad found me with her. What do you think this hallucination or whatever it is means? I don't know. I don't know. It's probably nothing. It's nothing. I just, I just need to get to the police station. As soon as I have Chloe in my arms, everything will be all right. Okay. 